those papers. Can you hear? Oh, duh. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. She's here. Hello, everybody. Oh, let me, there you go, Morgan. Hello, everybody. Didn't turn her microphone on there. And so we're glad you are with us. We hope you're having a great Saturday, enjoying the cool, cool down from the rain. And we, we need it, don't we? Oh, we yeah. We really needed it. And the lakes are going to get more water in it, and that's wonderful. I want to go to the lake. That's my... I am. I already did. <laughs> I'm going to get that boat and we're going to take it to the lake. Maybe maybe soon. Which boat? His his boat that I gave him. Okay, I like that boat. I want to go then. You want to go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so we're, we're uh, but the other boat's being fixed. Okay, we go before it's fixed. No, we take both. <laughs> we take both. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so hope you're having a good Saturday and we're going to talk today about safe rooms. Yes, and we're also live on Facebook and Instagram. Last time we were here, we had some really great questions during the break. So you wanna follow us there and you can also watch us and see the during the break stuff. That's right. And so we appreciate all of y'all joining us and we're here. And so we take your questions live at 737-1200. And uh, we'd love to hear any questions you have. It may not be on subject of what we're talking about, but that's just fine. We can change subjects and answer your questions that you need to ask. 737-1200. Mm -hmm. And we will go ahead and get started on the subject of safe rooms. Even though it's not a project requested a lot, um, you know, reinforcement of walls is. Reinforcement of rooms, making maybe entryways safe, uh, vulnerable points in the home safe. We do get, we get some of those. And in fact, let's start with a remodeling safe tip of the week, Morgan. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to remind everyone, this was our first, I think, tip, but we have hand washing stations at every single job site. So that means that before anybody enters into the home, they are required to wash their hands. We have stations with soap and water and everything. So that way you can trust that our guys are coming in germ-free and that's just a really great tip for our guys, for also our homeowners. Yeah, yeah, thank you for that. So let's, you know, even though you may think, oh, I, you know, um, I would like a safe room, you know, maybe you hadn't thought about it, but maybe after today's show, you might think about how an existing room can be a safe room. You can also make a garage a safe room. Um, you can make an you can make a new room. You can make an outdoor building a safe room. If you start with the out with a brand new building, it can be very small. You can make it multifunctional. That's one of the things that a lot of people don't think about, is that a safe room can be have its another main purpose. Mm -hmm. You could even turn a bathroom into a safe room. Now, just making it really, really strong. You could also make it an enjoyable extra room, room yeah. bonus room, like a wine cellar. You could make it a gun room. You could make it a theater room, an That's extra right. bedroom. You know, if it if it's in kind of an odd location. So yeah, there's several things you want to think about. One of them is the size of that room. Mm -hmm. How big do I want it to be? And one of the things that's going to determine the size is is your budget, mm -hmm. uh, the purpose of the room, and the length of time that you'll be in that room. Let's just use a couple of different purposes. Um, one of those purposes could be that you want to just escape a storm. Yes. A brief moment, you're only in there for a few minutes, a tornado doesn't last for hours, it lasts for a few minutes. But they hit. But they hit. In San and, Antonio. And they do hit. And yeah. if you want it just to be protected from that, for a momentary weather event, then you might just make it a bathroom. And the great thing about that is you've got your plumbing facilities right there. Mm -hmm. And that's going to work. And even if, you know, very seldom does, does uh, water get cut off in a storm. And, and even if you did, I mean, you could bring buckets in there and you could, you could add water right there. Mm -hmm. And so that allows you, you to flush your toilet. Fill up your toilet. tub right so, away. Yeah, you could fill up your tub and, and that's a good idea. 
If it's a, a larger bathroom, you can put multiple people in there. Mm -hmm. Bring your lawn chairs or something in there, and then you're, you're, you're safe for a while. So that can be done and has been done. Um, I will say this, that although bathrooms are usually recommended to go into, they're not tremendously much safer than the rest of the home unless you do things to them. Mm -hmm. So although that may be your safest room, you may be measuring just a very small difference in safety there. Yeah, and that typically, the reason that they're this safe is because bathrooms don't normally have windows. And they have tile on them mm -hmm. in the uh, bathrooms, and there's usually a reinforced uh, fiber cement board on them. And so that little area by the tub is probably a little bit harder to have something, a piece of wood go through if you were in a tornado. But I wouldn't trust it if that were the only, the you know, if I were going through a tornado, I would say I'd rather have something better. Oh, yeah. We do have a caller right now, right, Mike? Okay, let's go ahead and take Mary. Mary, if you're there, we'll go ahead and take your call right now. Okay, I was just calling to see if you all check foundation issues. Uh, Mary, foundation issues are best uh, checked by a, a foundation expert. And uh, I, you know, although I look at them when I'm there, I don't, we don't take the detailed measurements that are necessary. I would recommend that you call AVCO ABCO, Avco Construction. Look them up. They're a, a second generation. Do you have the number, Morgan? Yes, that number is 210-737-3826. Yeah, my friend Larry, there, and that number again. She's going to give it to you, and of course you can you can uh, call the station. They'll have it all. The, the Mike will have it. It's. Yeah. Well, that does sound like a foundation issue, and the way the way uh, the the number again is the the name of the company is Avco A V C O A V C O. I've got that in my brain. I'll, I'll call them, and and they're pretty good. They're good, reputable people. You know, they won't tell you you need it if you don't. But I think I do. Uh, well, it sounds like it sounds like you do, but the thing is, is that Larry will tell you the truth. Whether it's a little, a lot of times the 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 solution is just maybe one side of the home needs to be adjusted, and he'll do that. And he uses a tried and tested traditional method that is not hardly used anymore, which I still believe is the best method. So, talk to Larry, and he'll give you a, he'll give you a, a fair deal. Well, thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for calling the show. And so just like that, you can give us a call after the break at 737-1200. And we're going to go to break, but I want to mention my friends at Ford of Bernie. Great time to look at out, go out there and look at some new trucks. The 2020 trucks, I actually drove one, <laughs> even though I'm not going to buy one right now. They are incredible. And uh, I highly recommend that you go to Ford of Bernie. Talk to Justin at FordofBernie.com or 920-3023. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Our Wild Birds Unlimited was on here. Bozy. Mm-hmm. Come on, Marty. 
Tonight, Beth, can you bring your drill so I can borrow it? I'm going to, I bought these things that attach to the drill head and they're for scrubbing. Scrubbing what? The brushes. What are you going to scrub? Well, the people that lived in the apartment before, it was like they didn't take care of the tile floors and they're just got this haze that. I scrubbed for three hours on Saturday last week and I didn't even finish half of it. And I'm like, okay, these $10 drill things are going to be worth it. <laughs> did you try them yet? No, because they don't have a drill. What number did you give for Avco? Because it's, uh, I think it's wrong. Oh. Because a lady says she just called it and it doesn't connect at all. And then the number I'm looking on the website isn't the same number. Oh. So I, I don't know if they've changed it, but... I just gave the Google on Google. Can I get it off my phone, Morgan? Yeah, just uh, up my book. What is it? And I'll write it down. Give to him. 737-3827. Oh, 3826 is on here. That works too. Oh. Three eight two six is right. Well, I, I just put the two seven. Okay. You can access the new brand information you need on your smart device. Your smart device to play News Radio twelve hundred W O A I on iHeartRadio. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. Glad to have you with us. Hello, everybody. And we are talking safe rooms. And you can give us a call at 737-1200, just like we had the previous caller. And that number for Avco again is what? 737-8327. Try that one. If y'all still have a problem, let Mike know, and we'll see what's going on with that number. <laughs> but I can't imagine it. Him changing it without yeah, letting yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and so we just want to mention our sponsor for the second portion of our show, which is Expel, and that is paint protective film for your vehicle. They use the highest quality, and I can testify to it. It has protected my vehicles tremendously already. And we're going to put on one more vehicle, <laughs> and that's the Hellcat, which I should have done when I bought it, but I didn't. So i got to get it touched up now, which will cost money, and then get that done, which I should have done in the beginning. And you can call them at 430-7712. And now Eric there will also can tell you about window tinting. They're really big into window tinting for homes. For, homes. for the homes, yes. Homes. Thermal and burglary protection, incredibly. So look them up at expel.com, X-P-E-L. Yes. Or call them at 430-7712. Go yeah. ahead, Morgan. Client testimonial. This was from a client that I visited in the midpoint. 
and they weren't there so I gave them a call and then they texted me back and this is from Lori and she says we are quite pleased with how things are going lots are done in two weeks guys all friendly and they don't screw around <laughs> I'm home occasionally when they're working and just getting excited about it all coming together it's not really stressful I'm retired Air Force so I have lived in a one-room setup no big deal Thanks for checking in. So far, so good. <laughs> With an exclamation. Point. Yeah. Yeah. So before we go into our subject further about safe rooms, we want to go ahead and take our call from Roger there. And Roger, how can we help you? Oh, yeah. I have my, in my master bedroom, I have a window, 34-inch window. And then I have a door, an eight-foot door that leads into the patio. We don't even use that door. It takes up wall space. And I would love to remove that eight foot door and just make it a wall. Yeah, okay, and and and, and a lot of um, people will put windows up higher than the furniture too to get some light in. Uh, we're doing one right now where we're taking out a about a, a very large door and they were, they're putting the windows up about at the seven foot height to let in, to actually let the light in, but they can put furniture all along that wall now. Is that something you'd be thinking about also? That's exactly, you hit, you hit the home run on that. Okay, great Roger, well we can do that. Do you want my number so I can go look at your project and give you a kind of a ballpark figure on what that would run? Okay, and, and something like this, Keith, what, uh, a uh, one week worth of construction? Well, it could be one week. Um, it just depends, Roger. You, it might be, it might get, it it'd probably get into the second week whenever you put the the finishing coats of paint and all that. If you've got masonry on the outside, it's definitely going to run into two weeks. The thing we have to do is order those windows beforehand and have everything ready to go so we can keep it down to a, to a very short time frame. Well, what if I don't put a window? Because I do have a window on that side. Well, that actually, that and actually. We, it's a very short wall. Yeah, we can do that. You don't have to have a window, Roger. We'll just do it without a window and get it all closed up and have, make sure everything's ready to go. And it'll, it'll probably be done in about a week. Okay, one other question. I don't, I don't live in the city, San Antonio, but I'm in Bear County. And I was told that out here you don't need permits. Is that, uh, is that a, 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 do you need to get a permit for this type of work to, for the Bear County appraisal? No, in most cases you do not get a permit. They do not have it set up for it if it's outside of San Antonio. There are a few areas though where you are required because they're going to actually annex that part of the city and they're already uh, taking the uh, permits into effect, uh, but that could be, you know, we'll, we'll check it out and we'll see. The permits are not a bad thing. You're going to build it the same way either way, with or without permits. It just saves you a little bit of money, that's all. Yes, and it just raises uh, your taxes once you get the permit. <laughs> Notify the, the Bear County Appraisal District and you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, actually it doesn't work quite that way. Um, they're not really connecting the appraisal district with the permits and you're already being charged for a home being in good shape. Um, if you remodel a kitchen, for example, and it raises the value of your home by, let's just say $30,000 because you have a beautiful kitchen, maybe 30, 40,000, they're not gonna go up on your taxes because of that because they're already charging you for keeping your home up to, up to par with the neighborhood. And, um, and, and they did, actually it's happened, I've proven it, we've seen it many, many times, their appraisals did not go up because of anything done inside. Only time we see it really changing, uh, Roger, is whenever you add square footage. That they will see, and they do that whether you pull a permit or not, just so you know. Oh, okay. All right, that, uh, that relieves my mind there. Okay, well, let me have your number. I'll see you this coming week late this coming week uh, I can get a hold of you and we can go from there. Well that sounds good. The number is 680 KM Co. and you can write that down as 6805626. And thank you thank you so much for calling the show. Have a good day.
All right, so just like that, you can call us, and we'll take the next calls probably after the break. We want to hit this subject a little bit more on safe rooms. As we said earlier, the size of the safe room and which room you use, or even if you add on a room, is going to be determined by the purpose of the safe room. Some people want it for a weather event only. That's the only thing they want, a brief tornado or hurricane, and they're not going to be in there very long, a few minutes. That's going to make a difference than if you were to be in there for uh, like a hurricane stay. A hurricane is much longer than a tornado. Uh, another thing that people want to use it for is for social unrest. Mm -hmm. And, hmm. and let's, use, let's use another one, which would be a burglary. Yeah. That might be a random burglary and you want to get in there and you want to be protected because your cameras are showing you that something's happening at one of your entryways. Mm -hmm. Now, that, that probably is not a long-term event either. But social unrest, you know, people may want that to be something they could live in there for a long time. Of course, you'd have to have a lot of provisions in that room, but that certainly is going to change the size of the room. Is that like, you're talking like a bomb shelter type situation? That kind of thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, those were more common in the 50s and 60s, uh, yeah. even 40s, but they, they now, you know, are, a lot of a lot of survivalists want these and a lot of people just for practical terms but the great thing about them is is that is they can be like you said they can be concealed into other rooms so that you're not wasting that space during the rest of the time that the event is not happening mm -hmm. this this critical event of weather or social unrest so I would recommend that you always try to make it attractive and useful and then if you you know and then determine what needs you have in that room if the worst case scenario occurs such as you know um, we want to reinforce the walls the ceilings we want to reinforce the doors that are going to that room so all of these things are fireproof too right right so fire would be one of them so one of the things you're going to be looking for is is um, break in mm -hmm. you know so so we, you, you want to physical physical break in so that someone who's trying to break in, another one might be, uh, like we said, a storm that actually affects the strength of the room and can blow it off, or or high winds, or high winds can blow objects into the room and can kill you. If you're, you know, you're anywhere in a home that's vulnerable, sheetrock walls don't keep wood from flying through and killing someone, mm -hmm. or brick from flying through a room and injuring you. So a storm would be one of them, and you can protect yourself from that by having it really reinforced. But that's a different type of reinforcement than, say, a break-in. Some of it can, can apply and bleed over one into another. But uh, those are just two of it. But again, social unrest um, could, could even include a fire. Oh, yeah. And so fire might be one of those that you want to... You know, we always talk about getting out of a building, but you can plan for if you're stuck in a building to be able to get into this room, and it can actually have systems in it. But um, that is, again, another level that you can take it to. In case of social unrest, you may need some, some short-term fire protection anyway. And also, with fire protection, you could also store valuables. So if it was just a fire, but you have that fireproof room, your valuables won't get destroyed. In even, the if, fire. even if you're not in it, mm -hmm. that's actually a good doubling of that of that room. So multi-purpose is a is a really good thing to be thinking about on it. Now again, you can go to any level, and you know just for the storm, which we get a occasional tornado, you can you can accomplish a lot of things by getting it ready for that. You might be able to cross over into some of these other areas, but we'll talk more about that when we get back from the break. I want to mention my friend Joey at Maximum Altitude who lifted my truck, did a bunch of other cool things to it, showed me the, the right things to put on it and how to make it last. And you can look them up if you'd like your Jeep or truck with all the toys that you can get installed there at a very reasonable rate at MaximumAltitude.com. Or call Joey at 655-0184 and we'll be right back to the k and Builders Remodeling and Design Show. This is News Radio
<laughs> Bozy says, we are here, Kim and David. <laughs> Hi, Kim and David. Spider is right outside. You know where our handrails are on our stairs? Right there. Doesn't bother you? A little bit. I always go walk on the other side now and I make sure it's there. It's on the handrail on the right? On the left. Like if you're walking down the stairs, it's on the left. The grill side. He's hanging off the handrail? No. He's got a web built on, a tree, on that, that bush. That bush yeah. All covering the bush. It's huge. And he caught a jumping... Uh, I guess something flew into it. Yeah, it's gone now. He the grasshopper it. is gone. Ate it or, you know, sucked as much as he wanted out of it and then got rid of it. So now it's all clear, except for the spider. So it's amazing he can maintain that, right? It's huge. And Even he was in the rain. Spinning that thing. Yeah, that and was the craziest. He was spinning it fast. Fast! Jared kept trying, he was trying to get me to go outside. He's like, come outside, come outside. I'm like, stop! <laughs> He had just gotten home, walked in, and he always checks on it right there because it's been there for since Thursday. The day after you guys left, that day I saw it. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I hope you didn't miss us too much while we were gone. <laughs> we are glad to have you back. And you can call us at 737-1200 and 
we'll be glad to take your call. We are talking about safe rooms, but before we get into it, we want to talk about the maids. They do several of our homes in our family, and including Morgan, my mm -hmm. mom and dad, and also on our job sites. So, you know, if you'd like to, you've got something delicate, they know how to take care of it. I see you wrote, wrote some things down. I mean, they take care of hospital grade um, disinfectants, and as we've talked about, that's a safe thing. Mm -hmm. We want our jobs to be safe, you want your home to be safe, Go with the maids at maids.com slash 211 or call them at 822-2526. That's easy to remember, 822-2526. Don't you deserve a maid? <laughs> Absolutely. What's, what's trending, Morgan? Well, I've been seeing some really beautiful flooring trends. And my favorite is I love hardwood still. I know we, you know, that's just, to me, it's a luxury item, it's beautiful, and those light hardwood floors look gorgeous. To how to take it to the next level is the pattern that you lay the floor in. You don't have to put your flooring in straight up and down vertical pattern. You can put it in a chevron or herringbone pattern that just takes the typical traditional flooring to the next level. So you can do that with tile, you can do it with LVP, I, I would, I'm not 100% oh, sure, sure. Yeah. but I mean, it just, so take your floors to the next level by thinking outside the box with pattern. You don't have to go up in your budget to make it a more stunning look. The only thing is maybe labor might be a little bit harder, but still, I'd say worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. And it, it has been just stunning on some of our projects. You can see some of them on our website, mm -hmm. kmbuilders.com. If you'd like direction on anything, or you're having any trouble with the website, we'd always like to know. Oh, yeah. Give us a call, and we'll, um, we'll definitely guide you through it and say, where could you find pictures regarding this or that? Uh, you may just smut and be find them because there are a lot of places to go on our website, um, different, different categories, and you may not be catching the right one. Uh, we may have a different wording on it than what you're using. But mm -hmm. give us a call or look us up at kmbuilders.com. So we were talking about safe rooms and we mentioned the size is determined a lot by a couple of things. One of them is what event are you trying to prepare for? A weather event, a uh, break-in, a storm, you know, or a fire, or social unrest. Mm -hmm. Any of these can change the use of it. Now, if you prevent, if you, pr if you protect against the worst case scenarios, you're probably covering all the rest. But you may not be able to go that far, so it just depends on what you feel you need to protect yourself from. Now, again, we want to mention these don't have to be really expensive. They can be done, incorporated into a remodeling project. If you're doing a bathroom remodel, for example, and you say, you know what, this would be a great place to hang it safe in a storm, then we can do that. You can definitely uh, make a room safer. If you're taking it down to the studs anyway, well, let's go ahead and reinforce that room so you don't have flying objects coming through if you're ever in a, in a tornado. So how do we reinforce a room? Good question. So one of the ways you can do it, on the first level, you can put plywood on those walls so instead in, of before the sheetrock. Okay. Before the sheetrock. So the insulation and then plywood and then sheetrock. Right. And that, you know, in some rooms don't, you know, you have different types of insulation. Mm -hmm. And some rooms don't have insulation at all if there are certain ones. You might want insulation, though. Um, some of the things you can do also before you put the plywood in, you can actually put a perforated steel. Mm. And that steel can be, you know, can be something like, let's say, the, maybe you've seen the steel on a barbecue grate. That's expanded metal. Mm -hmm. um, so you've seen those that, that you'll see at, at parks, the little grill that, mm -hmm. that they throw on there. It's just a perforated metal. kind of looks like that. <laughs> and, uh, and that is... Yeah, it looks like the background behind us. In case yeah. you're, you're, you're seeing us live. But that can actually prevent people from being able to break in easily. Uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't cut through it because it's steel near as easily. And it would also slow down any, any objects trying to go through it. What about bullets? Now, that, that wouldn't stop a bullet. Okay. Um, now, anything's going to slow down a bullet from a pistol. A pistol bullet is not going to go a whole lot further once it hits objects like that, it expands and, 
and it doesn't do as good. But you want more than that if you want to if you want to put a bullet. You can put other types of steel in there mm -hmm. if you wanted it to be completely bulletproof. Okay. And, and so this is tornado break-in type. Right. Proof. Yeah. High winds. Yeah. If people are going to be shooting at you, if you, you want to prepare for that. Then there are metals that you can put in there, which would greatly reduce the chance of it having any effect if it could get through. Most of it's going to deflect it. Okay. And one of the things you can do is put ang angled steel in there that will actually make the metal make it go uh, reflect it, deflect it, and take a lot of the energy out of those bullets. It's not hard to do. It's just time consuming and a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. but, More um, material. Yeah. Now, typically, you're also going to want to think about how long you're going to be in there. But like you said, you can do walls, you can do the ceilings for anybody trying to get up in there or for an object that's flying around in a storm. Mm -hmm. The doors are also going to be very critical that you, uh, that you have those really, really secure. And a nice, really strong steel doors can be very attractive if they're painted and, and pick the style that matches the home. So you can do that. But you want to think about plumbing. Um, so if you want water in there, and you want a toilet in it, that would be obviously an advantage. You especially need a toilet if things are getting scary, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. at least a bucket. Yeah, a generator. <laughs> uh, electricity is another one. You know, you could, you want a generator that keeps everything uh, charged. Again, yeah. you know, think about it. We said these can be multi-purpose rooms. Mm -hmm. If you had a, your freezer, and that's where you keep, you made that wherever your freezer is, you made that your safe room. Well, then you can have your generator there. It's not only going to keep all of your perishables running, your maybe an extra refrigerator and a, and a freezer, but it's also going to be able to protect you and be able to stay in there longer. Mm -hmm. And so you can think about it that way. Now, the best type of generator is going to be the one that is running off gas or propane, uh, not you know the uh, the natural gas because it, it seldom ever stops. And that's going to keep you going for days and weeks and, well, indefinitely, really, that kind of generator system. Mm -hmm. uh, fire suppression would be another one. Also, you want to think about your internet, your phones, uh, maybe a, a signal increaser that repeats that signal inside that room. If you've got metal in it, you'll need to have that so that your phones can still be used. And that would be a wise thing. Now, those some of those things are very small investments, and they're just going to add a little bit to the cost. But... You know, this is probably for a home that you're going to stay in a while. Your forever home, probably. Yeah, yeah. and so remember that, that you can use it for a multi-purpose room. And so let's just talk about some of the rooms real quick. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about some of the rooms that could be used. You know, you might want that. That might be a new room or it might be an existing room that you could use and turn it into a safe room, whether that be for a storm or for a break-in or for a fire or something like that. So mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that when we come back. But we want to mention our, something else you can do to your home which can add safety, and that is Elite Lighting Designs. They've done a beautiful job on my home. You can see the video at kmbuilders.com. Now, EliteLightingDesigns.com is the place you go to find out more about them. EliteLightingDesigns.com or call them at 573 0594. I highly recommend them. Very professional. They're working on some of the finest homes in San Antonio, and that I know for sure. <laughs> 5730594. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Why is it 7904E? Ugh. Ew. That was unpleasant. That will wake you up in your car. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why they have to say their license number. It's a state requirement. On radio ads? Why? It's the law. But, well, what's the purpose plumbers of the law? Plumbers and electricians have to do that. Why? I mean, plumbers and uh, AC people. Do you know why? Like, why, like... They don't want anybody calling anybody that doesn't have a license. And you can't have an ad on the radio if any... Any uh, state licensing agency hears it and you don't have your license, they'll call you out on it. Oh. The licensing agency of Texas is strong, and they will call out plumbers and electricians who don't don't have their number on there. And if they don't, if they have a number on there, they're going to check it and make sure that the ads are legit. Huh. So basically, you're not going to be able to run an ad very long. Otherwise, you will be fined by the state. 
Yeah. Normally. And instead of putting it on iHeart, they're putting to check that they have a license number. You know, that they have right. to wreck their it's commercials. <laughs> that sucks. That's why they do it real quick, like yeah. that. Yeah. Because they they don't want to take up the rest of the, they want to get it over with. Yeah. No wonder. Well, I feel for them then. That would be irritating if we had to say our license number every single radio commercial that you're paying for space in. Mm -hmm. That's annoying. What do you think they're showing on here? Uh, volcano. A volcano. That's what it was. Yeah. I don't know what this one is now, but this is probably a different weather event. They're talking. It's all the. Uh, all weather. Weather caught on on camera. This has to be a cruise ship, right? Doesn't it look that like, looks a, cruise like a cruise ship to you? Or a casino. I couldn't tell if it's Vegas it or does. if it's a cruise ship, it but the look stairs like look, now yeah. it's like I'm yeah. pretty sure a cruise. I tend to agree with you here. That must mean there's gonna be in a bad deal. Yeah, and now he kinda does look like the captain, right? No, not that guy. Yeah, that's a cruise. Those Hollies are cruise ships. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would be awful. Why don't they show what's really happening? I know. Instead of the after effects. You think this is the after effects? I think this is them getting prepared for what's about to happen. Oh, really? Yeah. Doesn't it look like they all push? Maybe so. It looks kind is of organized a, yeah, it to is. me. There you go. This looks like they're pre preparing. Yeah. Because right? there's nothing shimmy and shown right now. Yeah. Unless we missed this, the uh, the event, and this is after. Well, I was watching. They're pulling into the dock. It looks familiar to us. Yeah. Might be the ship we went on. No. There we go. Look at it moving. always catch it. it it's like you should set up a recording to always record on saturday so that way you can go back and listen to what it actually was remember i said i want to do financial ways yeah and also want to do fine. lvp flying again okay samsung yeah white wedding Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. We're glad to be back with you. I want to mention my final sponsor for the day, which is a good friend, Joe Cugino. He's done a wonderful job on my lawn, and he will on yours. Lots of neighbors now are having him do the annual maintenance on it. And now it's really a great time to do it before the fall takes full effect. You want to get those roots grabbing those nutrients, and he does the micronutrients, both, both organic and some synthetic blend to get it working quicker. But you don't want to kill that micro, microbial activity and have your lawn become sterile and just depend only on synthetic uh, fertilizers. I'm a firm believer that the natural and organic to the fullest extent possible is the way to go. And you can even add those, um, those, those features to your lawn if you're suffering in it already. But give them a call, 210-421-9522, 421-9522, or just go to biogreensa.com. So we're talking about safe rooms. They can be safe from a burglary, safe from a storm, or uh, social unrest, whatever whatever you you need it to be, or all of the above. And again, they can the size will be determined by your budget and by the purpose what you're going to need it for. 
and also determined by the length of stay. Mm -hmm. You know, that's gonna that's gonna affect your budget a lot too, and maybe even the size of that room, what things and conveniences you have in there. If you're gonna do the walls, the ceilings, the doors, um, electricity, uh, fireproofing, fire suppression systems, internet, phones, electricity, generators, food, water, toilet, plumbing, all of that can be considered in it. And you can pick a room that has some of those things in it already. Such as, we were talking earlier about, you can have this be a multi-purpose room. So you can simply take a bathroom and make it stronger when you're remodeling it and get most of these features in there, or all of them if you want. Um, you can take a bedroom that you want to remodel and go ahead and just really make it a safe room. Mm -hmm. You could do a theater room and say, you know, we wanted a theater room anyway and we wanted a safe room, so let's make them both at the same time. A game room, the same thing. That's, those are typically bigger rooms, so you could fit more friends and family in there if you wanted. Mm -hmm. That's the advantage of that. Hey, everybody come over here. We're going to have a tornado. Get your family in there, and you've got, you're comfortable. They used to, in other places that have hurricanes regularly, they call them hurricane parties. So, well, man, you'd be the hit of the hurricane party. You would. <laughs> I mean, you could, you know, obviously most people are encouraged to get out of their homes in hurricanes, but we get some of the effects that we really don't evacuate for. And these, these are practical rooms, and like you said, make it for some, some other reason, use it for another purpose, and you're not gonna be throwing money away if it never happens. Mm -hmm. um, a garage, you can convert a garage into a very safe room. And sometimes that's actually easier to do a garage if you, um, it doesn't maybe have to be finished to the same level, and it can be very, very strong. But how could you do a garage if you have garage doors? Well, that's the thing. It's not going to be easy, but you can actually create doors that fold against the walls and section panels that are hinged, and you could actually do that if you wanted to make so, it reinforce that garage door. Ooh, There's okay. ways to hang it from the sides, I mean from the tops, and mm -hmm. they slide sliding barn door hardware. Mm -hmm. So that, And it does depend on the size of the garage, what you could do with it. Mm -hmm. But there are ways to really reinforce that. You can put pins and, and fastening devices into the, into the concrete so that it can't blow in. Yeah. Yeah, so there are ways to do that. You can actually hinge some that go up into, they swing up into the ceiling mm -hmm. and come back down and you fasten right. these, fasten them into the ground, yeah, mm -hmm. into, into the concrete. So there's a lot of ways you can do it. And a lot depends on the size of the room and how much room you have and how far you want to go with it. But you could actually build a room just for this purpose, such as a garage, such as a guest house or a mm -hmm. casita or a pool house or a little outdoor office. And you say, you know, I wanted that room anyway, so why don't I build it as a safe room? And then you've really, really got something that is worth even more. And you know, it also is worth more when it comes time to resell. Yeah. If you have a safe room and an outdoor office or a pool house or a cabana that is that is can be closed off into a safe room, you've got something there. And especially if it had the amenities that you needed. Um, People will eat that up. And so a lot of you are thinking about doing something to your home anyway. So the thought is, is why not think about making a certain room safer when you remodel? And we can always add those items on as, as uh, optional items that you can figure out how far you want to go. There's so many different ways, like Morgan was saying earlier, you can even go to the point of saying it's bulletproof. Mm -hmm. So it is possible to do. Uh, it's easy to do when you're in construction already. And it just depends on what you want. All of these things we talked about can be yours, and they are not difficult to do. None of these are difficult to do when you're in construction. Mm -hmm. So either you're building a new home or you're remodeling, um, you can actually add these items in there and figure out what point you want to go to. So we don't just do the, the only standard remodeling. We do lots of custom remodeling, lots of different levels of remodeling. And no matter what it is, KM Builders can do it for you and they can modify it to make it even more functional for you or more useful, make it a safe room. And so you just, the way you can figure out how to, what you want is to have us come out and do a consultation. Either in person or virtually. That's right, just, and our website has both. Mm -hmm. What do you look up under if you want virtual? It's KM On Demand. Right. Mm -hmm. Or virtual consultations and you can or you can go to contact us and then you can choose whichever you want to do and get on our schedule. That's right. So I can come see you or see you uh, virtually. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And once we do that, then we set up uh, a general budget for your project. And then we send the design team to start putting all these neat features in there for you and price it out for you like a menu. Mm -hmm. And that way you pick your own budget. And you can look us up at kmbuilders.com. It's real simple, KM, like kick me, <laughs> KM Builders, or maybe you'll think of Keith and Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> kmbuilders.com, or call us at 680-5626, and we can help you remember that one because it's 680-KM-CO, like KM Company. 680-KM-CO, and we look forward to hearing from you, and thank you for joining the show and joining us on Facebook and the Instagram, and we've yep. got lots of videos you can see of our actual projects, go to our website at kmbuilders.com. Anything else, Morgan? You can sign up for our newsletter on our website. Just go to kmbuilders.com or send us an email at friends at kmbuilders.com. That's right. At KM Builders, we have designed the experience so you can experience the design. Have a great weekend. The preceding show was... I'm Bill Rohde for Bank. I used it all up. Mm-hmm.